What's up guys, Tony here with iTech Check, and today we're going to take a look at a condenser mic kit made by Uhuru. Now the biggest draw for this microphone is the large diaphragm, it is a uh, 25 millimeter, and it's capable of doing uh, 24 bits at 192 kilohertz sound sampling, uh, which is pretty nice. The pattern is cardioid, so it pretty much uh, takes in sound from one point on the mic and rejects uh, all the other sound uh, around it. As far as the frequency response, it's 30 hertz to 16 hertz. The sensitivity is neg negative 38 decibels uh, to minus three decibels. And the maximum uh, SPL is 120 decibels. It is plug and play, it's compatible with Mac, PC, Linux, pretty much anything you can plug into a USB, you can use this kit. So. I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to check this out yourself. I did get this off Amazon, and if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I'm pretty excited to see how this sounds. Let's go and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here we have a little manual. And then you get a little stand for your mic in case you want to take it on the go. Here is a pop filter. It's double-sided, give you a little more thickness, and you can pretty much bend it how you want. And here we have a, another little uh, type of filter. It might filter out like wind or uh, any, anything else like that. Here you get your shock mount. Just squeeze these two together and put your mic in there. Here you get your USB cable. It's USB type A to USB type B. Here you get your little table mount. another part for that um, your little stand here you just put it on here and you put your mic on here I'll show you that in a second cable management here you got your stand your adjustable arm here and then here is the mic so here it is it's all metal Got your Uhuru symbol right here. And this is to also let you know that this is the side that you want to talk into. And you can kind of see the large, you can see the large diaphragm inside. It's kind of yellowish, got a yellow ring on it. And then here is your little USB connection on the bottom. So, so far, the only thing I don't like is the fact that there's no uh, gain control or a headphone jack input here to kind of monitor what your sound sounds like while you're recording. It's not a huge con, it's just something I'm observing and letting you guys know. So what you're gonna have to do is control the gain and everything from the uh, computer or whatever you have this hooked up to. So let's go ahead and put this together and see how it sounds. So before I did anything else, I kind of just want to put this uh, little thing together to show you what it looked like on the little stand here. This is, it, it tears down into a nice little compact package. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're away from your office or where you usually record, this is a nice little package that you can, you know, put in your backpack or whatever, uh, hook it up to your laptop or whatever, and, you know, give you some nice recordings when you're out on the go. So that's what it looks like on the little tripod. Okay, so here I have both my mics set up. This mic over here is the mic that I've been using for quite some time now to record. And this, on the other hand, is the Uhuru. And just so you know, just to show you that it is the Uhuru and not just some other mic that I'm using, you can see the Uhuru uh, logo there. Like I said before, you wanna make sure that it's facing the you're facing the logo to give you, you know, the best sound because it's supposed to reject all of the other sounds outside of uh, just your voice coming in from the front. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch between both uh, to kind of give you an idea of, you know, how good the sound is. Now, the mic that I've been using has sounded excellent uh, for me just creating my videos um, and we're going to see how well this records too. So all this time, I've been recording on you know my mic that I've had, and now I'm going to switch over to the Uhuru in three, 
two, one. Okay, so now I'm on the Uhuru. Uh, as you can see, it's all set up here. It's on its little arm here. It's got the shock mount, uh, the little filter that I'm using here, uh, and then the arm. It's pretty nice. It can extend pretty much you know, anywhere you need it to go, which is nice. So I got them set up about the same. So um, this is what it sounds like on the Uhuru. Uh, I did kind of make a little sample before I, I recorded this for you, so I kind of got an idea of what it sounded like. And I think it sounded pretty good. I mean, what do you guys think? I think it sounds pretty much just the same as the one I've been using. You could turn your volume all the way up when you're listening to this and you won't hear any hiss and that is a huge deal because the last thing you want in your recordings is some sort of, you know, microphone hiss um, and I didn't hear that from the Uhuru. I turned my volume as far up as it would go and there was absolutely no hiss. Now, the only thing you might hear is a electrical hum. I have a surge protector uh, mounted to my desk that's kind of maybe five or six feet away, that's the only hum you're going to hear. You you will not hear any uh, noise or anything coming from the mic itself, which is awesome. So you can bet that it's going to give you the best sound that it can. So this is on the Uhuru. I'm going to go switch over back to my other mic. Okay, so now I'm on my mic. This is what it sounded like coming from my mic. Now we're going to go back to the Uhuru. So now we're back on the Uhuru mic. From what I could see, the gain and everything on my other mic was up much higher. There were some peaks uh, that it was kind of going a little too high on, whereas the Uhuru, it kind of had room for you to move uh, the mic volume, uh, which is always nice because you don't want it too loud and you don't want to have it spike too loud. So it sounded pretty good just the way that it was. Um, I will turn up the vo turn up the gain on my computer so you can listen to it right now so everything you're hearing from now on is me adjusting those peaks to just below where it's over like i guess it's going oh it's spiking over into the red so this is what it sounds like with that gain put up pretty much all the way so i don't know what do you guys think i think it's a pretty good deal i mean for everything you get in the kit it's a great deal. The only thing that I didn't like about the mic, like I said, was there was no uh, gain knob or microphone input on the mic. But it's, that's not necessarily a huge deal breaker uh, for me and probably for you as well. It's just a nice little feature to have. This The mic that I have on here has a little, a little gain button so you can kind of adjust it on here. But once you kind of set that, you really won't have to worry about it. So you can do it in your computer. Not a huge deal other than that. I like it. I think it sounds good, and I'm probably sure that you guys think it sounds good as well. So, so that's pretty much it for the Huru mic kit. If you guys are, you know, strolling on Amazon and you were thinking about getting this mic, I would definitely say it's a good deal, especially for a budget mic. It comes with a lot of stuff. Pretty much gets you set up for everything you need for the mic uh, at a good price. So, again, I'll put a link in the description in case you guys want to check it out yourself. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.